Hey guys, Tiju22 here, and up next is part of the Gold Rush Tournament, and it is going to pit The Undertaker and Nufi Banga. Now, we were supposed to have this match uh, about a month ago, and it was supposed to be for both Undertaker's European Championship and for uh, Nufi Banga's then World Heavyweight Championship. Well, it didn't happen, all because of Justin Bieber. And Bieber just screwed it all up for everybody, especially Nufi Banga. But now we're going to have the match that we were supposed to have. But it's going to take place inside Hell in a Cell. So for Nufi Banga, he will not have to worry about Justin Bieber as Justin Bieber cannot get in. But he's got to focus on The Undertaker. And with that in mind, here we go. And we're off. And it's going to be The Undertaker and Nufi Banga. So now we're going to have the match we were supposed to have a month ago. An abdominal stretch on to Nufi Banga to begin the matchup. But Nufi Banga with that strength that he has hip tosses him. And a back body drop from The Undertaker. I mean, there is no time limit in this particular matchup, so there must be a winner. Falls do count anywhere, so even if they somehow... So whether it's, you know, outside the ring, or outside the cage, or even on top of the cage... I mean, this match is... It, it, it's going to be count... Falls will be counted anywhere, so... Keep that in mind as this match progresses. And a back suplex on Anufi Banga. And a back elbow onto The Undertaker. Oh, and a, and uh, a punch right to the back of the head of Nufi Banga. An elbow, back knuckle onto The Undertaker. And a drop kick onto The Undertaker. All but Undertaker. I mean, these are two of the best pure strikers in this company. And you're looking at them against each other. Elbow right and elbow smash onto The Undertaker from Nufi Banga. And a whip into the corner goes Nufi Banga. And instead, it's Undertaker that goes into the other corner. Oh, and a punch right to the back of the head of Nufi Banga. And a sleeper hold on the Nufi Banga. But escapes does Nufi Banga. And an arm smash to Nufi Banga. I mean, Nufi Banga gives up about, uh, give or take, 65 pounds to The Undertaker, but Nufi Banga is big and strong enough to take on The Undertaker, but he's got to be careful. He cannot let The Undertaker get the better of, of him, because if he does, Undertaker's going to slowly and methodically tear Nufi Banga apart, so he's got to stay on him, does Nufi Banga, when he has the chance, and whenever he has... Undertaker in his mercy, or at his mercy, excuse me. An armbar on Anufi Banga. I mean, you, you take away one of his arms and you take away Nufi Banga's uh, offense a little bit. Suplex onto the Undertaker. But Undertaker just relentless. I mean, Nufi Banga had to figure that at some point he was going to have to fight The Undertaker. And that's exactly what's happening right here, right now. I mean, he fought The Undertaker at the Bound for Glory tournament and won. But that was just once. I don't think Undertaker hasn't forgotten that. And he hasn't forgotten the 
the Newfoundland screw job either. So he wants to prove to the world that he's the best, but right now, Nufi Banga is proving it. One, two, no kick out by The Undertaker. So, uh, Nufi Banga is going to have to do more than that to The Undertaker if he wants to win. But a kick and a punch to the left arm. I think Undertaker is going to target one of his arms. And if that's the case, Banga has got to be careful. Against The Undertaker. And a whip in the corner goes Undertaker. Elbow right to the knee of Nufibanga. And some more back elbows. And a DDT to Nufibanga. Oh, but a kick right to the leg. On oh, one right back to Nufibanga. Now, now he's picking him up. Nope. Countered into an arm breaker. Oh, but The Undertaker doesn't stay down for very long. And a full Nelson to The Undertaker? Ah, uh, forget about it. You're not going to put The Undertaker away with a full Nelson. And whipped into the corner. And a shoulder tackle. And whipped onto the under on the other corner is Undertaker. But another elbow to the knee of Nufibanga. A drop to hold face buster onto the Undertaker. And another arm smash on the Nufibanga. And a knee right to the head of the Bonga. I'll tell you one thing, these two men are going back and forth. But until one man has the advantage for at least a minute or so, if not a little longer than that, uh, th th it's going to be evenly contested. And a back suplex onto The Undertaker. Now he picks up The Undertaker. And uh-oh. A karate chop onto The Undertaker. And now he picks him up. And uh-oh, he usually follows it up with a roundhouse kick. A roundhouse kick. And is that it? One, two, three. I mean, just... You go from one lethal move, a karate chop, to that of a spinning roundhouse kick. And it usually spells doom for many of Nufibanga's opponents. And The Undertaker was no exception. And this should leave no doubt in anybody's mind that Nufibanga would have won that matchup had he not been screwed. And for once, he didn't have to worry about Justin Bieber coming in. And in fact, he can't even come in right now. At least I don't think he will. But anyways, stay tuned for the next match. It'll be coming up right after this.